Well, you were Terry's crew chief when you moved back mm-hmm. in 93. Uh-huh. Was that a, always a goal for you? Was that something you strive to be? or No, I didn't. Yeah. I didn't really care about being a crew chief. Okay. I never did. You know, and I, I, and Billy said that he wanted to make me crew chief, and he kind of took it away. I went back there in 92 when I got there, and we started running good. We really started running good. Because all the cars were kind of messed up, aerodynamically that I found, and we did a lot of work. We worked hard, and then Billy wanted to make me crew chief, and they kind of took that away from Dewey, and I felt bad about that. Uh, Dewey didn't like it. Dewey got mad at me. It wasn't my fault. And but yeah, Terry wanted me to do it. So, uh, so you didn't go over there to be the crew chief? No, I went back to be a chassis specialist okay. right. and set the cars up and things like that. Because I didn't want to. I had a, my problem during the race is I watched, I watched all the other teams. You know, their strategy, things they did during the pit stops, things. I couldn't do that being a crew chief. I didn't like that. But anyway, I went ahead and tried to be. And we ran good that year. With what we had, I used to have to go over to Bill Davis's across the street and bar drive plates and anything I could from him, but he wasn't going to run. And we were racing, and uh, we had Kellogg's. And about the we went to Wilkesboro. We had Terry had done talked to. Well, I know he called me in the office one day, shut the door. Terry did. And we had been running, like I said, we had made people recognize us. Terry says, Jimmy Johnson called me last night. I said, what, from Dallas Cowboys? You know, at that time. He said, no. <laughs> he says, uh, from Hendrix. I said, oh. I said, what do he want? They want to talk to me. I said, well, what in the world are you doing standing here? Go talk to him. Go now. He said, I don't know. He says, all the guys here, um, you know, are really like family to me. So I think of the world to everybody. I then had you come back over here. Everything's getting better. I said, okay, why put up part of your career trying to get things better when I don't think they will, and you can go there and things are better right off the start? He said, well, they said you could come too. He said, they didn't know if you could be crew chief, but you could be on the team. I said, uh, eh, I'll think about that. So sure enough, he went to meet with Jimmy, and you know, then he announced he was going to leave. We go to Wilkesboro. We want to win a race for Billy Hague. We cannot stand not to win a race for him. We go to Wilkesboro to test for a week. Had an off week. We take three cars. We let Terry one day drive this car. It was a straight up Lawton car. Then we had a banjo car. Then we had a Lawton car with Hopkins front suspension. He drove each one for a day. We went through 20 sets of tires. Man, they weren't all the right tires, but they, you know, each time we ran, we tried to match them up with different yeah. cars. And we let him pick the car that he liked best. And he picked the uh, three quarter, Lawton three, four quarter drop snout car. Well, the next day, the fourth day, we ran that car all day long. Made 100 lap runs with that car. We're going to go win that race. And we got pretty good. We go back up there. And in the meantime, Billy Hagen's come up with this idea. He's going to run John Andretti at... Wilkesboro too, and let uh, Tex Powell take care of the car. And I was to furnish the car. And I sent a car down there. We go back up there, and Terry was leading the race. We had made we'd come up with a deal where we could kill a cylinder. It was like traction control back in, but we could kill the cylinder coming off the corner. And when he got off the button, it would pick up all four, all eight cylinders. Well, now, that, tires, wasn't, that wasn't legal? No, it wasn't legal. <laughs> <laughs> y'all said when I come in here and talk to y'all, I can uh, tell some stories. Well, I'm telling stories. So 
Uh, I'm shocked. <laughs> so we, we are actually leading the race. And there's 50 some laps to go. John Andretti's been in our way all day. We outrun Daryl and everybody with the little trick we had. And um, lo and behold, caution come out. Well, when the caution come out, the little trick we had quit. So we had all eight cylinders. I think that's the way it was. No, we just had seven cylinders. It had killed that one cylinder completely. So we had come in and got four tires. Went back out third. And uh, when they threw the green, everybody else had new tires. We had new tires, but we couldn't run because we didn't have eight cylinders. We finished sixth that day. And we had spent a fortune and had worked our butts off to try to win that race, and that happened. And me and, me and Terry, I know we'll get, oh, we mm, talked about team cars, and we let it have it about that. But that was, you know, what we tried to do toward the end of the year, was try to win a race for them. By any means necessary. Mm. Huh? By any means necessary. By any means necessary, we was going to win a race for Billy. And I don't think they would have caught what we had at that time. Uh, it was different. I don't think they'd have called it. 